Something tells me he's not a cop. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. <laughs> I thought you were another one of those zombies. Are you Chief Irons? Yes, that's me. And just who are you? No, don't bother telling me. It makes no difference. You'll end up just like all the others. That's the mayor's daughter. I was told to look after her, but I failed miserably. Just look at her. She was a true beauty. Her skin nothing short of perfection. But it will soon putrefy and she will turn into a zombie within the hour like all the others. There must be some way to stop it. In a manner of speaking, there is. Either by putting a bullet through her brain, or by decapitating her completely. And to think that taxidermy used to be my hobby. But no longer. Please, I'd really like to be alone now.
Wait. Let me go! Easy, easy there. I'm not a zombie. You're safe now. <laughs> Leon, come in. I found the girl, and I've cleared the wreckage that was blocking the corridor. Got it. My name's Claire. What's yours? Sherry. Do you know where your parents are? They both work at the Umbrella Chemical Plant, near the city limits. The chemical plant? Then, what are you doing here? My mom called and told me to go to the police station because it was too dangerous to stay at home. From the look of things, I'd say she was probably right. But it's dangerous here as well. You'd better come with me. But there's something out there. I don't know what it is, but I saw it. Much larger than any of those zombies. And it's coming after me! What was that? That's what I was telling you about! It's here! Sherry, wait! Chief? Alpha team here. Respond. This is Nighthawk. I have secured G. I'm all that is left of Alpha Team. I'm en route to the rendezvous point. <laughs> Once again, only you survived, Mr. Death. Roger that. Don't be late. He was injured in a firefight. He injected himself with the G-Virus and came back to life. I see. That's unfortunate. How are the other G-samples? The containers were damaged in the fight. And the virus has likely contaminated the area. We will have to contain it. Understood. I'll put in the request. What the hell are those things? Crossed out. Connection must be bad. since the last contact with Raccoon City.
This is war. Survival is your responsibility. Mission accomplished. The survival rate was 4%, and valuable human resources were lost. But that is war. The mission objective takes priority over everything else. Holding to that principle is why I have never failed a mission. The death cannot die.
saw the uniform, I thought you were another zombie. Who are you? Ada Wong. And what are you doing here? I'm looking for some guy named Ben. He's one of those reporter types, always looking for a scoop. I heard he was locked up in the cell block, only there's a wrecked car barring the entrance. I've been trying to find another way inside. If we work together, we can move this thing. Give me a hand here, will you? Ada, wait! Let me guess. You must be Ben, right? Get up! Now! What do you want? I'm trying to sleep here. Is this the guy? Ben? You told the city officials that you knew something about what's been going on, didn't you? What did you tell them? And who the heck are you? I'm trying to find my boyfriend. His name's John. He was working for a branch office of Umbrella, based in Chicago, but he suddenly disappeared six months ago. I heard a rumor that he's here in the city. I don't know anything. And even if I did, why would I want to tell you? Okay, I say we leave him in there. Does anyone know where they put the key to this cell? I have it right here, officer. But I'm not about to leave this cell. Those zombies aren't the only things crawling around out there. What was that? Like I said, I'm not leaving this cell. Get out of here before you lead it right to me. Hey, I'm not going anywhere. I'm the only cop left alive in this building. What? Look, if you want to live, then you're gonna have to leave with me. But, do you even know how to get out of the city? There's a kennel in the back of the building. Inside the kennel is a manhole. Go through and it'll lead you to the sewer entrance, but it won't be easy. All right, I'm going. Sherry, I've been looking everywhere for you. I was so worried. We've got to go now, honey, okay? If we stay here, that monster will find us. Let's go. No! I won't! What's the matter? <laughs> Don't you trust me? It's not that, Claire. It's because of my daddy. He's over there. I heard him call my name. 
Daddy must have been attacked by the monsters. I have to help him. Wait, Sherry, don't go alone. Sherry! Sherry! Sherry, are you okay? Did you find your dad? Yes, I'm okay. But I couldn't find him. But I did find something else for you. Here! Here's another! Thanks, sweetie. Now why don't you come over here? I want you to stay with me. Wait, Sherry, come back. Sherry! Sherry! Do you read me, Claire? We now have access to the back of the parking lot. Got it. I'm getting out of here and heading to the sewer. Can you meet me there? I'm on my way. Ada? I don't think I've introduced myself yet. My name's Leon. I'm with the RPD. It's a dead end. You think we can get upstairs through this shaft? Give me a boost. I'll go and check.
How cute. That little girl must have dropped this. I think I'll hold on to it for her. Leon, can you hear me? Ada, did you find anything? Right here. Think fast. Here's one more. Hey, I can't reach the ventilation hole. I'm going to have to find another way around. I'll catch up with you later. What? Ada, wait! Leon, come in. I found the girl, and I've cleared the wreckage that was blocking the corridor. Got it.
Sherry. You're okay. I'm glad to see you're safe, Claire. I'm going down there. Stay here and wait for me, okay? <laughs> so you've made it this far. Not bad, girl. But I'm not letting anyone leave my town. Everyone's gonna die. Calm down, Chief. What happened? Shut up! You couldn't possibly understand what's happened. Those monsters from Umbrella have destroyed my beautiful town. How could they do that to me after everything I've done for them? So it's true. You have been working with Umbrella. Then you must know about the G-Virus. What is it? Tell me! If you must know, it's the agent that can turn humans into the ultimate bio-weapons. Superior to the T-Virus in every way. Dr. William Birkin is the genius behind the project. William Birkin? I'm sure you've already seen his little girl running around here somewhere. Sherry, isn't it? In case you haven't already figured it out, the monster that's been tearing my precinct apart is yet another product of the G-Virus. An ultimate bio-weapon. Umbrella must be trying to cover its tracks. But if I have to go, I'm going to take you with me. Oh, I just can't take the pain.
No! Get! Get away! No! Ben! Can you still hear me? Come on, answer! Damn! I don't believe this. I almost got the story. <laughs> ben. <laughs> Bitter irony. The chief of police. Co-conspirator. Get that scum. Make him pay. Hang in there, Ben. <sighs> Leon. You came back! I can't believe the man who developed the G-Virus is actually her father. What's wrong, Claire? It's nothing. But I think I found a way out of here. We should be able to find some place safe if we can just make it out of town. But... Don't worry, I'll protect you. I promise. But you have to make sure you don't leave my side. Where are you going, Ada? To the chemical plant. I have a feeling that's where I'll find John. Ada! Wait! Hey! Leon, are you still there? We're leaving. Are you crazy? The streets are still crawling with zombies. It'll be all right, trust me. We found a way to the sewer. Follow us later. Claire! Claire! Wait, wait! Man, why doesn't anyone ever listen to me?